Next up for the Sage Showcase, I'd say we we know we did we need a really good Sonic fan game, right? We need one that is just stellar, because that'd be really good. Because we've had some decent ones here and there, but today we need something with a burst of good. So we're gonna play Sonic Ascends because nothing says the quality game as in a game where Sonic literally has an ascension. Sounds good to me. I, I know nothing about this. The, the project description says this demo contains only one act. So Sonic Ascends. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. All right, so first off, we have this. I got to manually capture, as usual. The only the Sonic Worlds engine was not on DX9. God damn it. Oh, well. Uh, keyboard and mouse? I'll just do keyboard and mouse. That's fine. Wait a minute, did I not actually bind in any controls whatsoever? Well, hopefully there's some defaults. There is. Good. Antique land. Antique land. Um. So it turns out I didn't buy any controls. <laughs> the, de the game's default state is there aren't controls. I've never seen a game like that where you have to... Okay. Alright, just a moment. I'll just give you... There. Alright, there. We have controls now. We have controls game, which... <laughs> I mean, it's nice when you can customize your controls, but I think that's taking it slightly too far. Sonic Ascends, all right then. Let's check out this really fucking chill antique land place. All right. I mean, okay, graphically, this is quite interesting looking. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's kind of neat. Chid does again. I'm always down for more Chid does. Vaporwave? Yeah, this is kind of vaporwave. This looks really nice, actually. Look at the water in the background. I want to point. I want to put attention to the. Uh... Oh, I like that Sonic and Knuckles uh, one-up sound remix. I like the water in the background. It's, I'm actually quite quite impressed by that. I like how they did the parallax on it, and how there's some actual animated water and such. It's good stuff. Well, it definitely is a it's a well it's a well detailed. I'm not so sure about the music. This doesn't make me think Sonic really, but at the same time, it doesn't make me not think Sonic. It just feels kind of unique, which is good. Unique is fine. I hope it has a melody or something though. Get down to the th funk, guys. We have invincibility. Get the get funky. That, that, what an odd invincibility song. There's a water sound with the waterfall when you get close to it. This game wants to be atmospheric a bit. It's kind of neat. This game seems interested in creating a world. That is a really weird crab. All right. That's the thing about the classic Sonic games, especially like Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3. Really good at like setting a world rather than just creating a cool level. That's why they. That's why they were so, they were so good in my opinion. Level progression was really good too. Oh, what's this? I have 188 rings. I'm pretty sure I can get in that. All right, just randomly that exists, I guess. Well, that was a one act. I mean, it was pretty nice. But that's, that's a nice. Uh, is, this isn't a lot of gameplay, but that was a pretty nice impression that the, that the game left. That was that, but uh, I was hoping for at least a boss fight. That's all right. 
Huh? Is this Worlds? It is Worlds. Delta Engine, right. Worlds has a few different builds. I think Delta is one of the newer ones. Or the newest one. I can't remember though. Yeah, I also hate it when video game levels. Yeah, I like a world that I can immerse into, whether I'm playing a uh, RPG or a platformer. It'd be nice. It's just nice to have a world that feels like a world. But yeah, that was Sonic Ascends. Not bad. Not bad at all. I actually would like to see this one progress further. This may not have a lot of content yet, but it certainly leaves a good first impression. Let's see where it takes it, I guess.